you let your children's pastor and your student pastor get involved with you. <laughs> We spent so much money on candy. We had to go with sterling silver. We couldn't do the gold cup this year. <laughs> I just want to take a moment to uh, say thank you. You guys do an awesome job in following vision. I mean, that's, I, I know in, in the chaos of this, it's kind of hard to get serious about it. But I, I, want to, I, want, I want to be the five-minute serious part of the evening. You guys do an awesome job following your leadership and vision. Uh, without you, um, the impact of this weekend could never happen. You guys are the ones that are going to make it happen with the power of the Holy Spirit working through you all with the people that you engage. Uh, we have an incredible opportunity this weekend. Um, literally thousands of people are going to engage this body of people. And my prayer is that when people engage this body of people, they know what we're about. I pray every person knows that they're loved, that there's a place for them, that there's people that care, that people that will accept them and not judge them, and that people that will embrace them. And I pray that you will go into this weekend not just fulfilling a duty and a job. Don't get so busy in your task that you forget to embrace people. Um, it's one of my favorite times of the year. We in, in staff meeting this week, they said, so pastor, what are you going to do? I said, I'll tell you very clearly what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk around all night long just engaging people. And uh, I get to do that because you guys are doing the work. Uh, and I just, I'm so thankful for that. Uh, I can't wait to see our booths this year. Um, I, I just, and, and I want to give you all to give your staff, not me. I do very little with Shindy, quite honestly. Uh, my job is to make sure everybody else is doing their job. Uh, although, you have no idea what it's like having your office surrounded by 80,000 pieces of chocolate. <laughs> 10,000 chocolate moon pies. If you were to kiss me, I bet I'd taste like chocolate. Uh, and I've had a sample today. <laughs> I, I will dare say this. She named me Candy Bar. I bet I've had it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much. I, uh, I, and I just want you, uh, Adam heads up this whole deal, and he does an incredible job. <laughs> and he's done a great job with her relegating responsibilities with Angie and Keegan and Sean. And, um, Myself, Tom, Amy in the office. It's, just, it's really been a team effort, but uh, it's a lot goes into this. And I just thank you all for undergirding it and getting behind it. And I would encourage you uh, coming into this Sunday, just make one more push for Candy. You've done 80,000 pieces. That's, that's mind-boggling. Uh, but we still need one more big bump. And we're just going to go with uh, whatever we have Sunday. We're not going to spend any more church resources on Candy. Uh, so, what you guys bring is what we're going with, and uh, if the Lord has to multiply it, we'll do the fishes and loaves thing. Amen. Uh, so anyway, but thank you for being here. Uh, I appreciate you. I love you. Um, I can't wait for Sunday to worship together. I'm, I'm super pumped about the message already. Uh, it's going to be powerful. So I hope I hope you hear Sunday um, getting ready, getting filled up to go out and love. Sunday night. I want to say a word of prayer for us, and then I think we're going to uh, maybe see some pictures of, of shit dig past. Uh, Father, we love you, Lord. I just thank you, God. I thank you for fun. Uh, just God, just to come in and to let our hair down. And um, Lord, I just thank you for this church. I thank you for my church family, Father. I thank you for their love for you. Lord, I, I specifically lift up Sunday afternoon to you. I'm praying, Father, for weather, that you would bring us weather that would allow us to, Father, just love our families in our community, uh, that this event could take place. I pray right now, God, that you would bring people, Father, that need to come. 
I pray that you would give our people opportunity, Father, to speak it to these hearts of people and just to love on them and encourage them. I thank you for all the work. I thank you for Lord, all the money that's been spent on making this possible. And Lord, we do it for one primary purpose. We want our community to know that we're a people of love. And that love is directly because of you living in us. So Jesus, this is all about sharing your love and growing your kingdom. Father, along the way, hopefully putting a smile on a child and a mother and a father's face that may not be able to afford to go out and do it of of this nature. So we just commit it to you, God. Ask you to do it as you will. We pray these things in Christ's name. Volunteer check-in, I believe. Awesome. That right there is where you need to go when you first arrive. I'm going to quit doing this because I feel weird doing this. When you first arrive, that's where you need to go. Amy Lewis will meet you there. She's going to be wearing an orange vest. So when you arrive, you need to say, okay, I'm going to find the crazy lady with the orange vest. If you tell her I called her crazy, you're a liar. Okay, that is, that is Miss Amy Lewis, okay? You just meet her, she'll let you know exactly where you need to go. We'll also know that you're there, just to kind of keep tabs and everything. So, if your time to, to actually start serving, if it is at 4 o'clock, let me give you a bit of advice. Get there early. Very early. If you, how many of you guys went last year? If your shift is at 4 and you think, oh, I got 10 minutes, I'm going to stop by McDonald's on my way, you ain't going to make it at all. Okay, last year traffic backed up from Highway 54. Oh, wow, you can see it right there. It, it, was, it was crazy, okay? The people that ran the rides last year ended up having to park on the side of the bypass and walk through the field to get to us. So I want to stress to you guys, if you're signed up to be there at 4, be there way, way early. If you're signed up to be there, I know there's a lot of different times. You'll get these times here in a minute. But if you are signed up to work at 6, do not assume that traffic has let up at all. Because if it's anything like last year, it won't. Okay? So allow yourself the afternoon to be there. If you bring your kids, which is highly encouraged, if you bring your children, I want you guys to keep this in mind. We as a church family are doing this to serve our community. This event is not for us. Okay, I don't want that to come out sideways, but this event is for, the, for our community. Okay, so if you bring your children, which is highly encouraged, yes, family, everybody, bring them all. Keep your children with you all the time. There will be points in the evening that you are shoulder to shoulder, literally shoulder to shoulder with people, and your child will go just like that. I have two kids. I just want to stress that to you guys. Keep them with you. Always know where they're at. We don't want to be the ones having to announce, hey, we lost our kid, okay? So let's just, just keep an eye on your children. The forecast is looking pretty good as of right now for Sunday. Pray it stays that way. If you have a Bridgepoint sweatshirt or hoodie, I understand it may be 70 degrees, but if you get chilly, please make that your clothing of choice, the Bridgepoint sweatshirt. If you go to walking around, it just makes it easy for us to identify you and for other people to identify you as well. Having said that, <clears throat> If you're wearing your Bridgepoint sweatshirt, Jennifer, really, really, really pay attention to how you conduct yourself. I'm not saying, Jennifer, I'm not saying don't be who you're not. I'm just saying you are representing this church. You are representing the person to your left and to your right. So just remember that when you're out there, okay? Smiles. This is a great opportunity for us to love on the entire community because I promise they'll all be there. 
if, if you're in a candy booth, this is another one of those, this is for the community, not us. If you're in a candy booth, last year, I apologize, we didn't have water at the candy booth, so everybody was having to run and get it. We had a lot of things. We're learning, okay? So this year, we're going to have water at the candy booths. It will be there for you. I'm going to ask that before you come out, you eat. Eat before you come. I don't want you guys to come out depending on that one hot dog for you, okay? We'll save the hot dogs for everybody else. You guys come out with a full stomach ready to get after it, all right? Can we do that? This is yes. Awesome. You guys are great. How about the turnout tonight? I mean, this is amazing. All right, so we talked about how to conduct yourself as you float around. If you're picking up trash, students, you are awesome. If you're picking up trash, don't just walk around with your head down. Don't just, how you doing? Trash. Talk to people, okay? It's an opportunity. Talk to them. Say, hey, what's up? If you see another one of us, hey, do you, do you need something? Just, just converse. Be friendly. Have fun. Please have fun. Because I promise, if there's somebody who is a part of this church family who did not sign up to work this event, and they come out and see how much fun you guys are having for the years to come, they're going to go, I want to do that. <laughs> I want to add just a couple of things. The volunteer check-in. We would love for you to park off of Reed Road, which that is like behind Reed's Orchard. There's a big field there. So that, that way you're not stuck in traffic trying to get inside there because that picture is not Photoshop. That is it. It will be insane trying to get in there. So if you'll park that end of it off of Reed Road, and the check-in will be right there by the playland, check in with Amy, and then you'll be able to go. She'll have maps, so you don't have to carry this map the whole entire time. And then she'll show you your area, and you'll check in with that leader. They am here, what I need to do, if there's any other instructions. And the other really important thing, we will have lost kids. We had tons last year. I think we did pretty well because we really wasn't totally prepared for that many uh, children to be lost. At the information booth, there will be only one. First aid will be there, and then uh, there's three or four men that will be working that booth. They will be there. First aid will be there. That's just general information about our church. We'll have brochures there. Also, that's where a lost child will go. We will gather their name. Their name will go to the stage. Keegan will be on stage in between songs. We will announce that parent's name to come and get their child at the information booth. Okay, so that's really important. There will be a huge sign above that tent. And you'll be able to see that uh, the whole entire time. But just direct, or don't tell a kid, go over there. You need to take that kid over there, okay? And then make sure that they're taken care of. All right. I think that's all I have.